Hello there folks and welcome back to Malmo. I'm just reliving the Champions League victory over two legs versus Celtic. What a what an odd way to say it over two legs. We won both games. So in both legs, uh, knocking out Celtic. And that gives us the chance to play Copenhagen in the playoff. Hopefully we can make the group stages for the second year on the bounce. Tricky, but uh, that's 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 what we do, isn't it? It's tricky. Tricky. Uh one game to catch up on. We beat Gothenburg by three goals to one Rosenberg, Jezza and Pettersson with the goals that make, allows us to continue our perfect start. Let's have a look at Hammerby's defeat record there for some reason. But uh, 60 points from 20 games, game in hand on uh, Norkoping and Hammerby. Uh, well, no, not on Hammerby. I'm obsessed with Hammerby. Maybe that should be the name of this episode, which would be confusing seeing as we're playing Copenhagen. Um... Yeah, I think it's a good opportunity to catch up on a little bit of business. You can see there, Vinheim is the man who's standing out for me. 16 assists from right fullback. Uh, and from the other side, Dykes with 5 goals and 8 assists. So those two, really creative. And we've already touched on Rosenberg more than once this season. 35 goals for him in this his retirement season. is His final contribution to uh, not just Malmo, but football as a, as a whole. Uh, in terms of at least playing. And then Strandberg and Jezza doing well. Uh, Obiolari yet to get off the mark, although he's we're still catching him up to speed in terms of fitness. Lucas Hilda's still out injured. He had a fantastic breakthrough season for us in uh, from on loan. Obviously, we've only got him for the one year. Uh, Olari is on loan for two years. So, And that's the same for Gokangul and Mangala. Mangala is quickly becoming a uh, an absolute staple, which was expected in fairness so let's get uh, let's get pitch side uh, i'll sort out the teams for you in just a minute so uh, team said we're gonna be wearing black even though it comes up as still sky blue on on this screen um because of hurler's uh, injury jezzo plays left side striker and trambo plays centrally other than that it's it's full strength you know the first leg is away they've got players that you probably recognize the two of you santander uh zeka skov uh, Vavro is a player that we've looked at for signing Boylson, who uh, I've managed to Ajax, I'm sure of it, in the beta this year. So that's gone full circle. Let's let's see if we can get, give, give something to work with back at the Swedbank. Um, I don't think Copenhagen are any stronger or any weaker than Celtic, so if we can do the business here today, then we have a, an absolutely... Uh, Fantastic chance to make uh, the, the the knockout stage. Well, not the knockout stages. That'd be nice. But the group stages of the Champions League, and that's more money in the pot, isn't it? So, if we continue to uh, raise the profile of the Swedish league and the Swedish clubs, then that's that's good news. A Strandberg didn't really get up to speed there, did he? Johansson picks off the ball for and Boylesen to Fisher. Boshiru now Mangala picks it up. Jezza see his idea, but that's a poor ball, and it's allowed in. It's Pieros. And Dragoski has to make the save. A little bit laboured. Uh, Copenhagen making the early running in this in the first 10 minutes or so. A corner ball drifted in, headed away. De Col collects the right side, crosses but over the crossbar. And out of play for a goal kick. We'll just point out their conditioning ratings. You can see Santander already down to 62 after just 20 minutes. There's no way they're making they're getting through this full game. Uh, he's already down to 59. He'd be lucky to make the second half, to be honest. But uh, De Col under that one, loses out Rosenberg. Launches the ball out left now to Jez. He's got Stramberg in support. If he can find him, he looks for him. And Stramberg gets an away goal. Uh, I don't know why they just don't rest their players. You know, they're just going to... As the game goes on, you I'd just make us stronger, stronger and stronger candidates to, to take the points if there are points available for a knockout side as Jezza flings that one to the to the far post and Stramberg slots it in uh, just after the half hour mark now a, a throw in by Vinheim to uh, Mangala back to Vinheim now on this right side it breaks it through Mitchell Dykes oh he got the right angle but a little bit too much loft on the ball and it goes over the crossbar and uh, pretty much straight from it here we go again Dykes now involved in a lot of attacking oh and Gokhan Ghoul Tries to head it back to the goalkeeper and Piros launches it over the cross. Well, saved over the crossbar, tipped over the bar. I thought he'd just put it straight over, but it wasn't to be. Poor from Gokangul, but so we get away with it. And I thought they were going to just get in there from that corner, but it wasn't the case to call. 
Johansson scoff now right side Nielsen cuts it out and back to Zhukovsky who clears comfortably and you never know we might have a chance of an attack here Strandberg no um, yeah I, I, I misread the situation entirely but we get another go a um, bit of action packed four or five minutes here Vinheim down this right side looks for the cross and it's just wide from Dykes Dykes is getting into attacking positions here um you know, whether it's the conditioning ratings, you can see there Santander is going to be lucky to make the second half on, well, half time on 50%. And that is half time. Then we have a slender advantage, but slender advantage will do me fine. Well, they're just going to leave it at that. We don't want to mess about too much with the old, uh, you know, chatty, 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 as Fisher sends. I don't know if it's Victor Fisher. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Santander gets under it, but Nielsen gets over him and heads it out for a corner very early in the second half and headed away Strandberg won't get there Skov uh, goes across the full length of the full width of the pitch and crosses straight into the hands of Dragoski no problem for the goalkeeper there and Santa Dare's made way he was never gonna you know I think they were banking on him doing something very early but the, even the players they're bringing on are not fit so they've just put on a lad with 77% conditioning, he'd, he'd be lucky to make the make the end of the game as Fisher, and oh, it's just wide, it seemed to be arching into the goal, it is Victor Fisher, so he's, that's a good player for them to have, William Fist, uh, you'll, well I know him, I don't know if you will, uh, Rosenberg's not having a great game, we might take him off for a lorry, um, just to get a bit of pace out on the wide side, let's, let's give that a go, I feel that we're, we're sort of, we're in charge of the game, but this could easily run away from us as uh, Brawson brings this down and Vinheim finds Rosenberg. The change is pending, but Rosenberg crosses back post Jezza just over the crossbar. Should have done better with that one, Jezza. It was uh, just one that he met rather than was able to control. Vinheim throw in now. Bashiru tries to play it through, but Vish Fisher collects and plays it clear. Gokangul wins it, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit scrappy as Vavro clears the ball. We dallied on it a little bit and uh, you, we should be able to deal with this but they're in Piros and Dragoski needs to make the save they've had the chances you can see four clear cuts to three they found themselves one goal trailing they've had chances to to certainly have something a foothold in the game uh, Jezza brings this one down and plays a poor ball to, to Dykes and it goes out of play for a throw in we, we, we're not doing the simple things right at this point we're going to bring on Kubler for Vinheim and I think we'll leave it at that for the moment so I'm a little bit concerned about injuries if I make another sub you can guarantee I'll have a player walking off injured a few seconds later as Joran will take this goal kick we've got 10 or so minutes to play we're not winning the ball in the air are we and we're certainly getting nowhere near the second ball to call to Piros and Pavlovic sends that one wide five clear cuts they've carved us open on more than one occasion we will now take the chance take the risk and make a final chance I think we're going to bring on Eggsy uh, just on the left side just to keep us fresh down the flanks because that's where they're getting in. Well, we've just seconds to go. It looks like it's job done in in Denmark, but it could have been better and it, it certainly probably should have been worse. Benarku's in on this left side, doesn't cross the ball, it runs out of play and that will be time. So, not a, not a fantastic performance, but then again... They're a bigger side than us, far bigger. And that's the point to remember. They're not, you know, we're not playing the team that we should be rolling here 4 5 nil. We're playing the team that really should be rolling us 4 5 nil. Big result there for Valerengi. You can see 2 nil over Ajax. Otherwise, uh, perhaps as you'd expect, maybe Benfica needing to do better, although know, you'd expect them to do so in that second leg against Fenerbahce. So next video will be that second leg against Copenhagen. We take that slender 1 nil advantage, will be an away goal into the home tie uh, we do pretty well at home so hopefully hopefully we can do the business back at the sped bank and qualify again for the champions league group stages join me for that video pop a like on this one and any comments is all much appreciated do subscribe as well awesome to see look forward to seeing you on the next video take care goodbye